Hey fellow explorers, today I am at Tokyo Narita Airport and I'm gonna show you around Terminal 1. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see. And first, let's go ahead and start with the map right here. I'm starting this walk at the satellite for gates 11 to 18. We're gonna walk down the shopping areas over here to about gate 50. So uh, this is one of my favorite airports to transit in Asia. Uh, in Tokyo, there are two primary airports. This one, Tokyo Narita and Tokyo Haneda, Tokyo Narita, a little further out from the city, uh, but this one is where like the major international flights come in. And as I say, it's my favorite place to transfer uh, flying from the west coast of the USA. This is a great place to come onwards to other places in Asia because it's really easy to transfer through here. And there's a lot of great restaurants and shops where I'll show you in this terminal. Uh, first up right here, we have a rice bowl spot uh, and all these restaurants or a lot of them at least have like these uh, plastic Japanese foods out here where you can see replicas of the food so you know exactly what you're going to order. There is Duter, a Japanese coffee shop. If you've got lots of luggage, they have little carts that you can push along, no problem. And if you wanna bypass the shops, we're gonna walk by the shops, but if you don't want to, you can go down the moving sidewalks right there. So we're gonna walk down what they call Narita North Street right now. This is home to a lot of the luxury shopping through here. A lot of people on their way from two places back home want to pick up their luxury goods. Uh, trash, they separate into like five different bins here in Japan. Others, newspapers, glass, plastic, and cans. Uh, and also interesting, in the restrooms, you can see how big each one is before you go in. They'll show you the stalls and the sinks right out there. And here they tell you like, here are fake things. Don't bring back these counterfeit Gucci's or the counterfeit crocodile, maybe. All right, uh, yes, a lot of people still smoke. So we've got some places that sell cigarettes and vapes. We've got Dior for cosmetics. We're gonna see this store over and over again, Fa So La. This is like the number one souvenir shop in the airport, but you can pick up some really delicious chocolates. Royce is a big chocolate brand. You can pick up a handkerchief. You can pick up alcohol or sake. And uh, they take yen. They take US dollars. They take credit cards. They'll take probably whatever you've got. Uh, we have an outpost of Prada on the right, another duty-free shop on the left. Some of these duty-free shops do begin to look the same over and over again, but it is a big airport and people aren't always making their way through the whole thing. So you do need a few of those things over and over so people can get it close to their gate. Over on the left is customs. So if you are uh, coming into this terminal. That is one of the ways you would come in here to Terminal 1 through that passport control on your left. Uh, on the right, they've got information booths. So if you're looking to find something, don't know where you're going, need help, and they generally speak English. Uh, we've got the flight boards over here that have everything in English and it switches between English and Japanese. Uh, and there are maps all over. Everywhere you go, you will see maps. Uh, Oh, like, and signs, and maps, and ATMs. If you need to pick up some yen while you're here, just find any friendly 7-Eleven bank ATM. Takes pretty much all international cards, uh, but they let you know you can only withdraw up to 30,000 yen per transaction, uh, which is about 300 US dollars. If you want even more maps, they've got paper maps in a whole bunch of different languages too more counterfeit articles here uh is this this is even like a counterfeit stuffed animal uh, i think that's pretty hilarious okay someone clearly running late for their flight some more signs here from customs to let you know you cannot pack your suitcase like this no suitcases full of meat products into japan no meat into japan remember that burberry coming soon more carts that you pick up they're clean they're nice they roll well i love how clean and fresh this whole airport is you could practically eat off the ground i think japan duty free we saw this before this is a different outpost of it uh, more cosmetics over on the right sk2 hermes and day day pow i'm sure i pronounced that 
wrong. All right. If you need to get to the other terminals, uh, terminal two or three, then you have to take a shuttle bus to it. Uh, and they've got signs where you can take those over at gate 28. Back here is again that fossil lot tax free, another variant of the store uh, here. They have a big uh, thing for Casio G-Shock watches. And yes, Japan is actually where I got this original yellow watch that you always see me wearing. If you got kids with you, maybe you want some kitty training chopsticks. If you want some chopsticks with Winnie the Pooh on it, how about Thomas uh, the Tank Engine chopsticks? That sounds pretty cool. Did I mention they like maps? They like their maps, all sorts of different maps. We are now here. Uh, there's gates 22, 25 that way, which we're not going to walk, but we're going to go over this way. And you can see where the various lounges are, United Club, Korean Air, a and &A Lounge, and some of the restaurants with pictures of what you might want to eat as we walk. They are great uh, using space here. You can see the cash register here looks like it's under an escalator right over there. So they're going to use everything as well as they can. Uh, we've got more Royce chocolate. We have the Tokyo banana. We'll see more of those later, but that's super popular here. Uh, it's like a banana flavored Twinkie Pokemon, of course. Pick up a uh, Yukata kids uh, casual kimono, essentially. Currency exchange, you can exchange your money, yen to otherwise. What does it say the exchange rate is today? Uh, US dollars, one US dollar, they'll buy for 150 yen or sell for 166 yen. Okay, another fossil law, tax-free. This one, Asakusa. Uh, this one, let's see, do we have the Tokyo bananas over here that you can see? They say this is the number one gift to bring back from Narita are the Tokyo bananas, original flavor banana custard cream. They are pretty tasty and boy, they're busy. Look at all these people checking out here. Uh, oh, and you might want to pick up some of these 100% Hokkaido potato french fries. They're like, they're not fresh fried there. They're in a bag, you take them home. Uh, plume, cigarettes, vaping, one of the two. There is an outpost of 7-Eleven in here and the KAL lounge is just over here to the right, Korean Airlines. This 7-Eleven is like the tiniest and busiest 7-Eleven ever. This is the line to go into that 7-Eleven, and then this is the inside of the 7-Eleven. But you can get liquor, drinks, snacks, all uh, like reasonable prices. The same prices that you might pay out in town, you'll pay here. McDonald's, McDonald's in Japan, so much better than McDonald's in the USA. Um, and uh, the menu, mostly in Japanese, those small levels of English. Short line. Oh, look how busy this place is. McDonald's popular stop here at Narita, and the eating area is just over there. We have some nice art up on the wall. We got some pictures of the iconic Mount Fuji just over here on the right. But I would not eat at McDonald's. I would eat at Ipudo right here. Uh, they are famous for their tonkatsu ramen. Uh, really delicious ramen. If you like noodles, definitely check it out. And you can see the line for this place so much shorter, though uh, they do not accept US dollars and things are only for here. But if you want to take it home, they do have some at home ramen kits and you can see them cooking up the ramen right there in the back. These are all the different payment things they take. Okay, uh, next door we have Japanese Western food. What's that look like? Well, here we go. We got muffins. We've got uh, mixed cutlet sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, chicken baskets, fish and chips, fried chicken, beer, ale, uh, mango juice, whiskey. They're really big on their whiskey here. And just like we saw before, you can see plastic representations of all the food right here. So you can look at this and decide what it is you want to eat. This one is a sit down inside restaurant that really feels like something out of like New York City inside. There is a large seating area over here. So if you get something to go from McDonald's, don't eat that little small thing. Come over here and eat at this bigger area. We have another Fossil La Duty Free Stars. This one, Tatsu Japanese Grill and Craft Beer. They have a vegan menu, vegan stuff. Sometimes hard to find in Japan, 
just kind of like staple Japanese classics, tempura, curry rice, sashimi plates, as we continue onwards. Okay, I feel like I'm rocking, walking on the wrong side of the walkway, so let's come over here. Uh, looks like Paddington Bear is right here with his orange marmalade. That's cool. Okay, this spot right here, day rooms and showers. If you've got a long connection, you don't have access to a lounge, you want to take a shower, you can right here. You can uh, rent a shower room for a thousand yen or seven dollars for 30 minutes. If you need longer, there's an extra rate. You can rent a day room to sleep for like $10 every 15, every hour or a twin room for $17. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You don't need a reservation, you just walk right up uh, and reserve it on the spot. Okay, over here on the right is probably OC Girl's favorite spot uh, in all of Narita Terminal 1. This is the Japanese drugstore, Matsumoto Kiyoshi. Uh, if you like Japanese cosmetics, and OC Girl likes Japanese cosmetics, this is definitely the stop. Always busy um, and uh, you know, just make sure if you're picking up liquids, you don't have too many connections that you have to go through security and then can't actually uh, make it through. And it's got a little uh, bigger side over here on the back too. Okay, uh, over there at gate 27, we got a flight going to Chicago coming out next. Oh, and these stores are so busy that you always see people pushing boxes around because they're pushing boxes to like restock the stores because they're so busy. All right, coming up on this intersection, I consider this intersection to be like the center of Terminal 1, like the heart right here. If there's a spot that's like always the busiest, it is this Fossil Law store, tax-free Akihabara. They have a lot of electronics here. It's been so popular that they've opened up a second one just on this side too. So we'll take a look through this one first, and then we'll take a look at the other one. Here we have some <laughs> Tokyo milk cheesecake, indeed frozen. So make sure you can bring back something frozen with you. They have like real great models of all of the different food items. Uh, in Japan, it's really popular to give gifts. And so it's traditional that people, when they go on a trip, they will bring back gifts for all of their friends, all of their coworkers. And so these items that come with all of these individually packaged crackers or cookies or chocolates or strawberries like here uh, you would bring back a box bring it to your next friend gathering uh, and everybody could have a individually packaged and sealed snack with the tokyo bananas too but let's look inside tax-free akihabara i think the number one store here yes they have the tokyo bananas too they have a special tokyo banana they have the dora amon tokyo banana that has Dora Amon right there on it. Uh, this has a neat, like, neon character in the middle. And let's go over on this side where we have some of the electronics in this store. Healthy goods, travel goods, acoustic products. We have um, bottles, we have rice cookers that are over there. We have headphones, lots of headphones. You're gonna need noise canceling headphones if you're traveling. We have binoculars. Really, in the world of electronics, this used to have more electronics back in the day, and now has more like cheesy souvenir stuff, like stuffies and things like that. Uh, they used to like legitimately have cameras, but I think they find those don't sell all that amazingly well. Uh, but here's a whole watch section. Watches are super big. We've got razors. We've got little more of the disposable cameras. We have Japanese toothbrushes. Uh, you don't like generally see legitimate electronic stores in airports where you can get a um, $700 rice cooker or a $250 uh, water kettle, but you will find those here at Tokyo Narita Airport. And you know what, people are gonna be buying them. This currency exchange, quite busy right here. Uh, so, where you should get your Japanese yen from if you're coming to Japan, not there. You should get it at the ATM, at that 7-Eleven ATM that I showed you, much better exchange rate. Okay, 
Going down this way, on the right is the Fossil Law Duty Free Cosmetics and Perfume, and on the left, the entire liquor and tobacco shop. Nice lights on the top, make it feel kind of like a luxury hotel or something that we're walking through. Tiffany and Company, if you're shopping for your next engagement ring or something like that, no problem. Someone bringing a little, what is that, teal color bag back home. Hermes, uh, not just now for perfume, but Hermes for actual like purses and really expensive things. I mean, this is like definitely a luxury goods store. We have another customs checkpoint. So this would be another area that you would enter into this terminal. Gucci on the right for purses. Make sure you don't bring back any of those fake purses that you saw. Let's take a look outside uh, for a moment since we actually found some windows over here to look out on the airport. Uh, Star Alliance is the primary set of character characters, carriers that are here in Terminal 1. Uh, we've got United right over there, Air China, ANA, the Hanu plane, which is the one in the back that looks like a turtle, Air Seoul, and lots of ANA over this way, and tons of carts. If you need to make a phone call, and for some reason you don't have a cell phone, yes, they do still have pay phones here, some serious looking pay phones, still with yellow pages, and some instructions on how to actually make a call since people probably forgot and people taking some pictures out there and uh, this dude is taking a taking a picture with his stuffy he just got I, i'm gonna assume he either just got the stuffed animal and taking the picture or he's like me and travels with a panda so maybe he's taking a picture of his traveling stuffed animal all good cartier uh, another really high-end spot cartier really famous for their watches this is uh, Bulgari on the right. Another Fasola duty free on the left. Louis Vuitton on the right. And then the ANA duty free shop. This is one that's maybe a little bit more unique because it's actually, uh, you'd be like, oh, well, it's the, uh, it's the airline's duty free shop. So maybe that one's a little different. Honestly, it looks like all of the other duty free shops. Uh, that we've seen before. Oh, but what they do have here, uh, this is kind of interesting. They have some really fancy looking hair dryers. Curling iron? Curling iron. Uh, $360, uh, some brushes. That curling iron's $200. So yes, people in Japan, they like good things. And so they will save up their money for that one good item as to post to buying 10 crappy ones that break every year. Here's another little food court area. This is the Tokyo Food Bar. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's on offer in here. Uh, this one is less busy than that area with Ipudo and McDonald's that I showed you. Uh, this spot specializes in uh, tendon, rice bowls with tempura. It's about 40 US dollars. Pork cutlet curry, about $25. Uh, ramen that is tantan men, uh, sesame flavored. This one's got tonkatsu ramen, so pork flavored. When you're done eating and you got dishes, you return them back to this dish return right here, and then they wash them in the back. Uh, if you want water, you pick up cold water right here. Cups right next door, and there's a coffee shop here on the corner. You have some coffee or iced matcha. It's more your style. They've got some sandwiches, uh, tuna and potato, ham and egg tuna salad. I personally would pass on the sandwiches, but that's just me. Uh, I would probably get the tendon bowl in there because that looks pretty tasty. Um, although expensive, but tasty. Another Fasola Kogura tax-free. All the same things we've seen before. Uh, and so a number of these duty-free things, if you are like ordering it and it's a liquid, they'll actually like, bring it to your plane so that like they know you're actually gonna take it. Here's like the kitty park. If you got kids, it's kind of like an indoor soft play area that they can play inside this little soft plate nursery area. Great place for uh, kids to 
get the wiggles out before their flight. This is interesting. This section is a set of machines to buy travel insurance. I have no idea how this works. It looks like they're all in Japanese. I've never bought it, but a machine travel insurance corner is quite unique. Uh, there is a second drugstore over here. This one's uh, a little bit smaller than the store that we saw earlier. Um, so if you're on this side of the airport, you can pick up uh, your cosmetics and things like that over here in the one that carefully just says drug store. Always bright, always white. They've got drinks too. They've got, um, I was gonna say like a few candies and a few snacks. Oh, and they've got these mochi eye masks if you want to have a pokemon eye mask to wear on the plane got you covered right here uh this is another fossil law one but this is also one of my favorites this is kind of a smaller one this one has more i don't know if i say like off the beaten path or silly gifts but like if you want to get a mitten right here with a dog on it this is going to be your spot uh if you want to get your um chocolates that are shaped like Mount Fuji. This is gonna be your spot. You can tell these are a little bit more my jam. If you wanna get a Godzilla t-shirt, this is gonna be your jam. Uh, big Godzilla, little Godzilla, whole Godzilla section. Maybe you want a uh, Godzilla bank right here. You put the coin, it must be out of battery. Oh, no, here it comes, here it comes. Put coin, push here. There we go, he's gonna get the coin just like that, that's cool. Ah, uh, t-shirts, magnets, these traditional uh, Japanese crafts, the Daruma, the wishing doll. I definitely should get uh, the Curious Princess this no sushi, no life shirt. Socks uh, for you to wear with your um, sandals that have a little split toe like that, so you can have socks and sandals at the same time. See, some people tell me, like, Chris, socks and sandals, come on. But, like, in the geisha tradition, socks and sandals, that is absolutely the thing. Uh, if you're connecting and uh, you didn't get, like, um, a boarding pass, you can pick those up at the transfer counters right here. And, uh, oh, Japanese sweets right here at the K Minamoto shop. This one is, uh, like, a lot of Japanese green tea. Uh, Ito N, Oicha. I really like this tea. I drink this a lot. Uh, in the U.S., it is made in Taiwan, uh, so the bottles look a little bit different here, but you can be sure that this one is made in Japan. Maybe you want to pick up some uh, green tea pouches to bring back home, to have your traditional green tea back home. Maybe you want some green tea chocolates. Maybe you want some rice cakes to go with that tea. And here, smaller things for souvenirs. It's all souvenirs. Everything here is souvenirs. Uh, there is a bookstore right over this way. Cool, just like a cool bookstore, not like um, sucky Hudson News that just has like five magazines. Oh, they love the vending machines here in Japan. And so here we have a whole bank. This is just all water, uh, 150 yen, so about one US dollar. Uh, this one has milk tea, um, we've got some peach juice, we've got some green tea, we've got some barley tea, we've got Pokari Sweat, which is like an energy drink, we've got sweetened coffee, and if you want some ice cream, uh, you can have like lots of different flavors of ice cream sandwiches, like less than $2 for these, so super, super good deal. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this bookstore a little bit more. Obviously, this is uh, not a big English book section. This is going to be a lot of Japanese magazines, Japanese books. I would probably just look at the pictures on these. Uh, but if you're looking for like some manga or some anime, they do even have some an English section right here. Uh, let's let this boarding announcement go because it's really loud. Thank you for that boarding announcement. Here we've got some massage chairs. It's 10 minutes for 200 yen. You can sit in one of these massage chairs and just relax while you are waiting. And uh, over here is gonna be my stop because we are at the ANA &A Lounge, which is the lounge that I always enjoy checking out uh, while I'm here. United 
member, uh, so I'm United well, Platinum or something. Anyway, Star Alliance Gold gets access to the a and Lounge on Connections here in Narita, so that's where I'm going to have my snack before my flight. All right, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy some of my other videos on Japan. Are you coming to Tokyo? Do you want to know my Tokyo travel tips? You can check that one out right here. Or if you enjoy airport tours, you might enjoy my tour of Singapore's airport, my actual favorite one in Asia. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.